la la gang okay as y'all can see i am back okay my voice is back i am back okay we had enough of those voiceovers so let's get into this reaction and i know a lot of y'all is wondering damn lala did you dye your hair black hell hell to the no okay anyways y'all so let's continue with the marathon for y'all the ones that's in the back way way in the back that's wondering why the hell am i doing all these videos on jazz it's because it's a lot of nonsense and for the ones that's in the back way way in the back that's wondering damn is you obsessed do you have some type of problem oh you being a bully no okay y'all must be new to my channel because if you go through my channel yeah you got different videos okay you just Called a moment where, yeah, I am running a jazz marathon. So either you with it or you ain't. And if you not, click the hell off. Or better yet, leave me a comment, okay? Because I will reply. Um, Anyways, y'all. <laughs> let's talk about, let's see. The mac and cheese, okay? Let's talk about the mac and cheese. Um... If y'all know about the mac and cheese, please drop it in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this mac and cheese, okay? Because, see, when I got on here and I talked, I talked about, you know, <laughs> the big deal. The big deal was shit. <laughs> Somehow it slipped, okay? Somehow she just decided to tell the truth about the builder boy, okay, and I'm gonna call him builder boy, not build a man because he ain't no man, he's a builder boy. When you still living and stand on somebody, yeah, like they your mama and they gotta take care of you, or however, so I'm gonna call him a builder boy. Um, <laughs> uh, about when he was standing there, you know what I'm saying? So that was the big thing for me because, as y'all know, I been saying like this guy stay here we been know that he stayed there since all them damn hats that was hanging up but for them to come back and try to play us yeah like we stupid or however or yeah we just we don't know game okay we don't know game when we see it it's just crazy Y'all keep dabbing my eye. I don't know why when when all of a sudden when you ready to get on camera, it's got to be something wrong. It feel like it's something in your eye when it's not. Girl, y'all, I don't even know, okay? <laughs> um, so that's what I want to talk about. And that's what I discussed in my voiceover was like, damn, let the truth be told. But how do we look at her now knowing that you just been selling all these lies out here thinking, you know, yeah, like we stupid or we dumb or we just don't know. Yeah, we know. Anyways, y'all, we're going to talk about the mac and cheese. Now, this is what I want to know. I have a question for how the La La Gang, okay? And for the ones that be want to drop in and throw their two cents, you can answer it too, okay? That's what I want y'all to do since y'all such, such a jazzy fan. Fan. Y'all should y'all should be on y'all platform crying too because at the end of the day y'all sitting here trying to protect a grown woman trying to get people to stop talking about her don't say this don't say that girl we too grown for that shit she's she's old enough grown enough if you could put the stupidity out here for everybody shit we can talk about it especially when I go over there and I give you a click because somebody want me to go watch or look at this or what I think about this so if i'm giving you my view shit i can give you my thoughts and my opinion too yeah that way um so this is what i want to know y'all if you got your own place okay you got this builder boy stand in your home okay he's staying in your home and he came in your home and he brought shit he didn't bring nothing to help you okay he ain't bring no food he ain't bring no furniture he ain't bring no money he ain't bring shit the only thing that he brought was himself okay all his damn hats and i'm pretty sure y'all every female that he have been with have taken care of him. Uh-oh, the voice trying to trip. Have taken care of him. So that's how he ends up with, you know, some of the Nike shit, you know, nice shoes, nice hats, and all that type of shit. Because at the end of the day, whoever he have been with, that's what they do. They take care of him. Just like my jazz is like putting a damn Fitbit on his wrist. Damn, you didn't put an Apple Watch. I mean, you just put a, a Fitbit. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but she happy about that Fitbit, y'all. 
So, like I was saying, you have this grown ass builder boy in your home and he brings absolutely nothing to help you. And basically, y'all, I want to throw this question at all oh, my single moms, okay? That's what I want to do. When you already, y'all already know how it go because I'm a single mom myself. And I know, for one, y'all can relate. If you in your home, okay, and you got all your shit together, but we know Jazz don't have all her shit together, but we going to give her that. Um... She got all her shit together, which she got to have. She been paying her rent. She been having food. You know what I'm saying? She got all what she need, okay? Let me put it like that. So being a single mother and you out here and you raising kids by yourself, you already know what it's like. And you know what it's like when you going to work, working at nine to five, grinding hard to make sure you and your kids are good. Also, y'all, y'all know as being a single mother, sometimes it don't even matter about you having a nine to five, grinding and working hard. You still have those moments to why, shit, sometimes it's a little tight, you know what I'm saying? Or this pay period, I just didn't make enough, or you know what I'm saying? It's something out of the ordinary that you need to do, or you know, however that may go. Um, so anyway... You have a builder boy come in, such as your boyfriend, your bae, your boo. He, he he has nothing to bring to the table, okay, but himself. He at the door, okay, with his cheers, his PlayStation, his hats, his clothes, his shoes. You know what I'm saying? He at the door ready. You get what I'm saying? He have nothing to give you. How do y'all feel about that? Would y'all let him in on the shit that you are doing, on your grind, on your hustle? Would you let him in? <clears throat> now, on your food, let him in on everything. But not only does he come in with his baggage, his little shit that he do have, he comes in on your shit and then, you know, he didn't got all comfortable and shit. You get what I'm saying? So now he feel like, oh, I'm running shit, okay? Not only is this your place and you paying the bills, but it's too warm in here. I like it cold. So I'm going to turn this AC up and have it freezing in here because this is what I like to do. But I know at the end of the day, I have to keep my house at a certain temperature because for one, I am paying this light bill. For two, yeah, I'm the one that, that that's that's making it happen. But you have this guy come in and he take total control, okay? He takes so much control over you, over your kids. He just running shit. But you got to remember he had nothing to bring to the table. He have nothing to add to the table. He have nothing to add on a bill. He have nothing to add on food. So at the end of the day, tell me, why are you here? Tell me, why are you redirecting my kids? Tell me, why are you running the shit that I'm doing? Tell me. Why do I have to ask you? Yeah, it's coming, y'all. It's coming. If it's okay, if I can cook your, you hold up, hold up, your mac and cheese. Hmm. Something wrong with that damn picture. Ain't no way I'm gonna be on IG Live and I'm gonna ask this builder boy who's on my on my TV, okay? <coughs> In my house, can I fix his macaroni and cheese? Y'all put in the comments down below. Let me know what it is. Because, see, to me, that's a big-ass problem. It's a big-ass problem. For one, it's a problem because, see, we don't have no this is yours or this is mine or this is my mac and cheese. You can't cook. You can't do none of this because this my food. Oh, no. Because, see, when I use my food, when I was using my food stamps, when I was getting my shit, you was eating my shit. You was grilling my shit. When your kids would come over, I was cooking my shit, okay? <clears throat> so tell me why do I have to ask you for some food that's in my house, in my cabinet or my pantry, however... Why do I have to ask for it? 
Now that's when I tell y'all. The more they get on here, the more that they do shit, the more that she even open her mouth and talk. Because at the end of the day, y'all, Jazz don't give two shits, okay? She don't even think about the shit that she is saying and the shit that she is doing to after the fact that, hey, somebody grab that shit and we throw that shit out there to be like, girl. Then you think about it and then you come back and you try to explain it or clear it up. Don't clear it up. Because I feel like this. This is my house. Whatever I want to cook in here, whatever. It's for everybody. So tell me how is this builder boy going to come in here that's not bringing shit to the table. When I say nothing, nothing. Okay? He don't work. He don't do shit. He don't do nothing. But I have to sit here and ask you, can I cook your mac and cheese? I got to ask for shit that's up in my house. Shit, if it's up in here, it must be up for everybody because you ain't helping me do shit. Hmm. Now, I also get from that, y'all, is my Jazzy Life cook a lot of mac and cheese for her kids, okay? Maybe he's saying, shit, she cooking all the damn mac and cheese. Maybe I'm going to want some mac and cheese. Hey, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> my throat ain't back to normal. Um, I know he might be saying, Shit, this is my mac and cheese. Y'all don't mess with my mac and cheese. But that's not how the shit work. That's when I say the shit is so one-sided in this household, okay? This is not a couple. They are not together, okay? It's more like shit. He's standing there using the hell out of her, using her shit. But you got to ask in order to use some shit that's in your house. Shit don't make sense to me. I feel like that's not cool at all. I'm not going to ask nobody, can I cook something, okay? Because at the end of the day, we're going to go back to where you were sitting on the floor and you was talking about your food stamps and saying that you didn't have no food. And I also talk about what your mama had to buy for you, okay? Who was cooking the damn food that your mama, okay, that your mama bought for you? He was. And I bet you he didn't ask you for shit. He ain't got to ask you for shit because he runs shit. I don't feel like you should be asking him for nothing that's in there. Whatever he buys should be for everybody. Just like when I go out and I buy certain shit, it's for everybody, okay? If you got to build a boy or however, if you, however it's going to be, it's for everybody. So we're not going to be buying separate shit, but we're supposed to be a family. We're supposed to be a couple. We're supposed to be, yeah. This is what it's supposed to be, but you section your shit off and I got to come ask you for your shit. Can I cook it? I wonder, is he doing a lot of food like that? At the end of the day, my Jazzy Life don't have no food or, or you know, her food stamps and they short. And she actually got to struggle to get, you know, her money up <clears throat> to pay for the food for her and her kids when it's actually food there that she probably can't touch because it's, it's his. You get what I'm saying? I don't understand that shit, y'all. I was finna say, ain't no way I wanna did that shit on IG Live because you know somebody was gonna snatch that shit. Especially me hearing that shit, okay? And I let it go because I was so focused on what? Oh, now you wanna tell the truth. But when my subs come back and say, Lala, <laughs> girl, did you hear about that mac and cheese? Or girl, she and her asking this whole builder boy, can she fix his mac and cheese? That shit ain't cool. And I said I had to go back. I have to touch this because that shit is not cool. Okay? This is my thing. Chris, if you don't want to be there, you not all entwined with the kids and her, why don't you turn your churros, your game, your hats, and go turn your ass? Let her be, okay? Let her be the mother that she needs to be that she not even being right now. And let me take that back because she wouldn't even be being a mother without him, okay? Because she wasn't at first. But all of what's going on right now looks bad. It looks totally bad, y'all. So don't forget, y'all, put it in my comments down below. Tell me what you think about that. If you are a single mother, like I said at the beginning of this video, and you let a builder boy in, but we know we're not going to let no builder boys in. We're not going to let no screws in because if we out here on our own shit and we grinding hard for ourselves and our kids to have, okay, not go without, but to have, ain't no way you're going to let somebody just random, random come in your household and take over and also take from 
your kids and not only your kids but yourself as well ain't no way and i know we all better than that okay anyways y'all that's it for this video if y'all like this video let's throw those thumbs up and if y'all have not as y'all do subscribe because it's lala peace